Aloha Ohana, Pastor Limo Milani here. Welcome. Today I'm going to be reading from Walking with Jesus, and this is a morning and evening devotional, okay? So today is January 28th, but it doesn't matter what day you come across this video. Amen. God's word is sufficient for you, true to the T, always. Amen. So no matter when you hear this message, watch this video, it's good for you. Amen. So today is January 28th. And I'm going to be reading from Walking with Jesus, and I'm going to go ahead and get started right now. His words to me. Holy microscope. I want to give you a holy microscope to learn of the subtle thrills of life in my spirit. I want you to look deep and long enough into my word to see the blessings I have for you. There are no tears in any corner of heaven, beloved. Defer yours to me and whoosh. They're plunged into the sea of differences. I'm setting you free from the captive claws of worry and the dark emotions that pull and snap at you. As you've sworn in tears, sworn, forgive me, as you, you've sown in tears, you'll now reap with joy. Amen. Be receptive to my voice and grasp my immutable promise of holy joy. I want you to see the great things I'm doing for you today. Amen. 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 Yeah? Beautiful. That was the morning. Okay, guys. So the evening. Okay. Hit my words to him. Amen. Thank you, Jesus, for your holy microscope. I'm always learning and experiencing the subtle thrills of life in your spirit. Thank you for telling me to look deep and long into your word in order to see the blessings that you have for me. There are no tears in any corner of heaven. Thank you that my tears are all plunged into the sea of differences. Okay. Thank you for setting me free from the captive claws of worry and the dark emotions that pull and snap at me. I have sown in tears, but I will reap in joy. Today I choose to be receptive to your voice and grasp your immutable promise of holy joy. Thank you for helping me to concentrate on the great things that you are doing for me today. Amen. Amen. And the scripture I have for you is Psalms 116 verse 8 and it is written, You have delivered my soul from death. My eyes from tears and my feet from stumbling. In the mighty name of Jesus, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. You are so good. Your love and your grace is just pouring upon me. Yes, Lord. Thank you so much. Receive it. Claim it. Believe it. Lean on it, okay? Lean on the Lord with all your substance. Amen. He is the one pulling you up out of the darkness and into the light. And it is His light that is shining upon you. Amen. In Jesus' name. Okay. For those of you who are new subscribers. Through all my videos, I can, you can see me <laughs> speaking, everything going good. And then all of a sudden, I say either the wrong word or I'm mixing up two different words or when I'm reading. Okay, it's because I have dyslexia, okay? So I'm dyslexic. So when I'm reading, the word looks weird to me. So forgive me. I sorry, but I'm not sorry, okay? And in a way, it all works, okay? Because the Holy Spirit is leading and guiding me through. I don't let my mistakes or when I stumble or accidentally pronounce something wrong stop me. The Lord is right there holding my hand. Like, come on, child, carry on. It's okay. Laugh it off. Get over it. Get over it. Push forward. When I first started, it, it used to stress me out. Like, okay, what if I make a mistake? What if... What if I say it wrong? What if I can't even pronounce the word? What if I can't even make my mouth move my lips and make my lips move so I can make the sound, the proper sound? What if I can't pronounce it correctly? What if I'm saying the wrong word, but it looks like that to me because of the condition? The Lord says, for what you do not know, for what... You cannot yet understand or grasp. Know that I am right there with you every step of the way. If you fumble, he can catch the ball. He can catch you. He's got you. He will not let you fall. It's okay to make mistakes. It's okay to dust yourself off, pick yourself up, and carry on. Yeah? So I am in full control of this. Of my channel I can go ahead 
boom, if I stumbled, I could stop the video, re-record it all over again. But one thing about my channel, I, I really want it to be authentic. The raw, real, cut deal me. Not editing, ed editing, see, editing, <laughs> editing. Not editing out any of the footage to make it look a nice, perfect, you know, real, no mistakes, everything said proper, posture good, everything. No, this is real life. This is me, okay? Sometimes I will speak proper, and some days my pigeon will come flying in, and here we go, agape, over here. You know what I'm saying? It's all about you being you and being comfortable with who you are in the mighty name of Jesus. Don't worry about stumbling. Don't worry about you might trip or fall. Don't worry about if you might not be able to do it how other people may expect you to do it. It's not about that. It's all about being who the Lord will create you to be. Amen. The Lord said with his holy microscope, amen. With his holy microscope, he is going to give you, amen. He, he is your authority. He is the one who's shining the light in the darkness, in the areas that we need to, what? Be mindful too. Amen. So when I'm telling you that the Lord is saying, He gave you this holy microscope, okay? Obviously, I'm reading from this morning and evening devotional. Obviously, this is not words from the Bible, but this is led by the Holy Spirit. Amen. So, I know like a lot of people, they will, I don't want to get too into detail because I'm not here to bash anybody. But there are some people that are so stuck with the Lord, like, okay, what they read in the Bible, and that's as far as they can go with it. They can barely even grasp what's being said in the Bible, let alone when they're interacting with other people. They can't, they fail to see God in that interaction. They fail to see God's work, God's love, and God's light shining through all the, the um, um, what do you call it? All the opportunities, all the encounters. God is right there, speaking, moving, right there in each encounter, each situation, each hurdle we got to leap over and jump over. The Lord is right there, carrying you up over it, smoothing out your path. Amen. Okay. You have delivered my soul from death. My eyes from tears and my feet from stumbling. Psalms 116 verse 8. Okay, the Lord is right there with you. He know you learning. He know you growing. How he know that? Because he knows it all. He see the big and complete picture. We cannot see the big and complete picture. Okay. Why is that? One, okay, one. We wouldn't be able to handle, to know the full capacity of everything that God knows. And there's no need or point in us to know that. We all have a part to play. So say for example, okay, you you got the part. You got you 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 went to the audition, you got the part, you got the lead role in the play. Okay. It doesn't matter how many times I mean, not how many times, but how many days or weeks or even months you get to, um, how do you, what do, they, what do they call it? Um, so you already got the pot, you went to the audition, you got the pot, practice. You know when they practice and they go in rehearsal, rehearsal, they go, see, I've never been in one place, so I don't know the proper terms, but anyways. So it doesn't matter how long you get time for rehearse, okay? You got the pot, all right. When you get one part and when the Lord assigns you, when the Lord when creates you, he assigns you one part to play in the whole collective. Okay. You are assigned this specific role and part. The Lord is rooting for you. Okay. The Lord wants you to be exactly who he will create you to be. And how are we going to know that? How are we going to know that? Who am I? We got to first seek the kingdom of God to know that we are a part of something great. 
And every interaction, every situation, everything we see all around us is constantly moving. And so are we. Amen. But it's in the midst of the storm when the Lord is actually who is our anchor, who is our stillness, who is our calm within the storm. I literally had times where I, I, I felt like I was just in the Lord's hands. And boom, had crazy stuff going on around me. And I just was like in the eye of the storm, literally. And like everything chaotic was going on around me. And the Lord was preserving me. And I was able to observe everything that was going on. And like the Lord went guide me to do exactly what he needed me to do. And it wasn't anything out of my norm. The Lord had me do things that I naturally would do. The Lord went direct me into just being who I am. It's right here in your heart. The Lord searches your heart. He knows. Amen. So when I tell you, be on vessel that the Lord can use. I talking. Your heart. What you speak. All the things you say. What you do. That's one reflection of what's in here. Yeah. And do know that I know no one is perfect. But the Lord is. The Lord knew that you was the perfect person to play the role that he went assigned to you because he know you could do it. He know you can do it. It's not about if the Lord know we can because he does know you can. And do know that we are able to do it. Even though our flesh is weak, we are able to do it. Why? Because he is our strength and he is our present help. Amen. And like when you look at a microscope, you seeing things real close up that you will oh, excuse me that you will not be able to see with your naked eye just by looking at it okay just by looking at it you wouldn't be able to see it you put it underneath the microscope it's like boom zoomed in you see you can see everything that's still going on you really don't know what you're looking at still yet but you see one closer picture of hey oh wow there's stuff moving around over there what is that what is that that's the same thing within our moments of when we're stagnant and we feel like, Lord, what am I supposed to do? I feel like I I I, I would hit one roadblock. I stay or or I maybe I one one fork in the road. I don't know which way to go now, Lord. He gonna be like, Where's the light? You gonna be like, Right here, Lord. Right here's the light. The light is shining within me. Okay. So look within yourself with a light shining. Because the light not going to be shining so much outside of you for you to see. The light is shining right within you. And when you ask the Lord, Lord, which way to go? He's going to say, follow me. Follow me. What does that mean? Follow me. Seek him. He already speaking to you through everything. Every way you look, the Lord is speaking to you, moving in in the midst of everything. The Lord is right there with you every step of the way. When we can just trust in Him, lean on Him, especially when we don't know what's going on, just trust in Him. Lean on Him. Because the Lord can do way more for you than you just being stuck with a one-track mind of, okay, okay. I got to keep reading my Bible, keep reading my Bible, keep reading my Bible, keep reading my Bible so I can get it. Yes, that's good to know. But it's not you reading your Bible just for know what's in there and what's going on in there. Because it's not our carnal mind we're trying to fill up. Okay. And we're not one computer where we stay trying to download this information. Because honestly, honey, the Lord, when he like you know something and he need you for know something, he going to direct and straight speak to you. He going to give them to you right there. Boom. You ask, you shall receive in the mighty name of Jesus. Yeah. The Lord don't play games with you. Yeah. The Lord doesn't have you at this audition seeing if you chosen or qualified for the role. He already got He, he already knows who you are and what you're going to become and prosper into being. All the Lord needs you to do is just be you. Stay true to who you are. 
And if you don't know who you are, getting to know who Jesus Christ is, who our Lord and Savior is, who is our Heavenly Father and our, crea our Creator, when we know who He is and the role we play in the big collective of everything, the bigger picture, when we're focusing on our role and what the Lord has done and is currently doing for us each and every single day, That's when the Lord going to start giving you in the perfect and divine timing the amount of information, all the blessing, everything you need. He's going to give them to you in divine timing. So don't stress it out. Be stress it out. Don't stress yourself out. If you have things that you feel like you limited, what I mean by that is a lot of people, they may be having health problems that will could stop them from doing certain things that they want to do as far as serving the Lord and doing certain things. Some people might not be able to travel right now with everything that's going on. Their health may be, um, they might be an, at risk because of their health. Or maybe they might not even be able to go anywhere because, you know, whatever the reason may be. But do know that you can do all that you want to do, that the Lord will create you to do, right here from your heart space, right here from within you, you can do it. You can do it through your studying. You can do it through your prayers. You can do it by your simple good morning, hello, when he's speaking to everyone. You are that light. Amen. The Lord is showering his grace, his love, and everything, his peace, his healing upon you. Each time when you open your Bible and you're reading, you're not reading like as if, oh, you're just trying to learn, 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 get to know, get to know. I'm wondering how come this, all of that. It's for you to connect. It's for you to build up this personal relationship for you get one understanding for the words to speak to you. Not so much for you for read and study, but for the words that is on those pages, which is the word of God to speak to you. Amen. Okay. To speak to you. And then when you're breathing in all of that, the essence of his love and his grace from within those pages, and you're letting them marinate and soak them in. And give praises and sing psalms and lift up praises of thanksgiving to our Heavenly Father. Because you realizing like, wow, Lord, you love me so much. You love me so much. Then you start to realize that the Bible is one big love letter. One big love letter. Starting from day one. Amen. Whatever it is. That you think may be holding you back. <laughs> it's not going to hold you back no more. You give it to the Lord. If it, Even if it's something that you cannot even see on the other side. Do know the Lord is the one on the other side looking right at you. Like, follow me my child. I got you. Lean on me my child. I got you. Yeah. You may be saying, I cannot, I cannot even stand up and walk, Lord. Run, my child. I got you. Run. Run, my child. I got you. Or, you've been running all your life. And you don't know how to be still. The Lord is on the other side looking right at you. It's like, be still, my child. The running is over. You have won the race. I made sure that you have won the race. I have done it for you. I have run the race and I won the race already for you. Be still, my child. Have your feet fitted, shot, and ready for the gospel of peace. Share with your heart open. Therefore, where my true peace is. Amen. Amen. The Lord is the one who balances us out. He is the one who calibrates us. Some of us is runners and we've been running all our life. The Lord says, be still. 
And there's some of us who is afraid to even move. And the Lord is like, run, jump for joy, leap for joy, climb. There's no need to be afraid. I'm right here. I got you. Every step of the way. He encourages us. He edifies us. He nurtures us. He shines his light upon us. He loves us so much. He's the one who calibrates us and balances us out. Amen. And then we start realizing like, wow, you know, my life ain't even my own. I am. I belong to the Lord. I belong to him. Then you start singing and dancing. Yes, Lord. Utilize me, Lord. Have your way with me, Lord. Amen. Have your way with me, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm a living, breathing example. I'm a living temple of God. For the Holy Spirit is the one that dwells within me, who comforts me, who Jesus has left for me to lead me and guide me to and through truth and to help me discern. Yeah. To help me discern in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord is working. The Lord is always working. The Lord is always moving amongst us everywhere you look everywhere you look you are not alone not even for a second the lord is right there amen right there the lord is right there amen okay i'm gonna read this scripture to you okay Isaiah chapter 43, verse 1 through 2, and this is the New Century Version, okay? It is written, Don't be afraid, because I have saved you. I have called you by name, and you are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. When you cross rivers, you will not drown. When you walk through fire, you will not be burned, nor will the flames hurt you. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. God is good. He loves you. Okay, guys? Walk with boldness. Amen. You already got the pot. And only you can play the pot that the Lord will assign you to. Amen. So be exactly who the Lord has created. Amen. All right. Operate out of your heart space in the mighty name of Jesus. God bless you and your ohana. Amen.